Oh, YouTube, what's a curlin? Today me and Stephen are going to tell you how we make songs. In my last episode, I said if we reached one like, we're going to make a video, me and Stephen are, on how we make our songs. And we hit the like goal before the video was even released. It's amazing, I know, isn't it? The first step, of course, is to write down all the lyrics for the song. Now, personally, I like to use the app Google Keep and just write down anything I've got in there, you know? You know what I mean? Yes? The best bit about using Google Keep is that I can have it on my desktop, Stephen's disgusting studio, or even on my own personal, mobile, terminal communicationable, able smartphone, cell phone device. Excellent! So, ladies, here's why I keep the ideas for my songs. Aren't they brilliant? After writing down your lyrics, or before that if you're not doing it in order, you want to get yourself a producer. Personally, I use Stephen Manley because he works free. If you're a nun or you're some kind of church person, he's a bit weird I know, isn't he? So I basically, I tell him what to do and he does it for me. It's bloody brilliant, it is. For Barcelona, I wanted to have some very lush guitars for Lauti. That's the ding da ding da ding ding drum da ding da ding. And also maybe some drum layers with the flout test because I think it sounds bloody amazing, I do. Being a producer, Stephen is fairly good at producing songs he is. He's an absolutely brilliant producer. Splendid. I'm doing thumbs up way too much now, aren't I? Sorry about that, ladies. Anyway, after last week's absolutely horrific car clash of an interview, I don't think we should interview him again for a couple of episodes, you know. So, um... Instead, I just took this little video of him making Barcelona back in June slash July, one of those months I forgot. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'm liking the look at this. Let's give it a test. Okay, turn it up a bit, yeah. Oh, this is good shit. Yeah. Go over this little bit here, come on. Cheering song, but better. After doing this, my lovely ladies, you actually have to record the song. Me and Stephen worked together what he did on the lyrics, and Stephen set up the recording booth in his studio. He said that no one had ever let him record there, and I think I know why I did. The place stunk of quavers and a little bit of Tide Pods. Tropical! So me and Stephen worked together on getting the lyrics very proper for recording the song. Then I went over to the studio. It was disgusting, absolutely revolting. And I tell you for why I went, ladies. I tell you, I got in there. He had nothing, just two screens, like a keyboard, a little mouse. It wasn't even a MacBook or nothing. I was disgusted. And the best bit is, when he had the microphone, it was just a microphone and a pop filter. Even I used better clipping for that for shooting my first album. That's up. It was, it was foul. It was. It was just absolutely revolting and he didn't have anything so it'd be way too echoey so i told him oh 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 steve Ann, it's going to be too echoey jory said to me you know what he said the dirty lanky bastards you know he said put my dressing gown over my head i'm not the ghost of christmas bloody pleasant i'm not i'm not going to be doing that but you know i did anyway because I do want to have my own single. Apparently, the reason for this, and that we didn't have any proper equipment, is that no one had actually trusted him to record songs of him, because he was that weird. I mean, he's a bit weird. Have you seen the way he dresses? I mean, those glasses. Jesus Christ, Stephen. You're a bit mental, aren't you? But he said he spent money on other things. And after last week's episode, I think we know what he spent it on. Next up is a video of me actually recording this single Barcelona. It's absolutely fabulous, apart from the dirty dressing gown with the weird white and green stains, maybe feel a bit uncomfortable. Anyway, here you go. This is all you're giving me, Stephen, a microphone and a pop filter. Oh, this is going to be all like sound vibration-y, you know what I mean? It's going to be all like um, background-y stuff. Need like noise reduction foam, yeah, yeah. That! That's like that big, Stephen! Are you serious? Don't know what she's complaining about, that's clearly enough! No! It's gonna be too bad, You, it's not gonna sound good, it needs to sound good, Stephen! The dressing gown... 
Where? This. It's got stains on it, Stephen. If you say so. Just over my head. You want me to put this over my head? Jesus Christ. Ugh. Okay, you ready? I'm gonna press go. You're gonna be ready for this, Stephen, okay? You ready? We're gonna record. You ready? Okay. Oh, yes. Barcelona. We're in a large Spanish city. You know the name. Don't get big pocket, that'd be a shame. Nucky as a sheer lamb, better wash the front because when I'm here, I just want to moan. Barcelona. Oh, yes. Barcelona. We're in Barcelona. Oh, yes. Barcelona. Barcelona. That was bloody perfect, Stephen, that was. After you've done the recording, then you might want to auto-tune it in case you can't really sing that well. After that's done, you're going to want to export your song. Now, there should be like a little export button, depends what software you're using. If you click Fruity Loops, press File or the little button, it should be in there somewhere, okay? But personally, Steven knew something called Soundtrap because they have a free trial. Dirty bugger in me. After you've exported it, you download an app, I use one called Amuse, and then you upload the song, put on the cover art and everything. You must love Barcelona cover art up there. It's absolutely brilliant. Steven designed it. And then you wait a little bit, and then it's up there and you get money. Six months later, so not yet, not an income source yet, but you know, you're getting there. You are getting there. Thank you for watching, ladies. Please subscribe to be a children of Jesus. Come by, ya, my lord.